Hello guys and welcome back. Welcome back to Zera's channel. How you guys been doing? Uh, before I'm gonna do this review about the new tier 9 French uh, Alsace class in Marcel Sport. Yes, that's the right uh, nice good looking port, let me tell you. There's a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, I own you guys an uh, explanation, the reason why I ended uh, my video. I'm not gonna close the YouTube channel, however, there's no more time to create more video. It's because I will be a top manager um, on a store very far away from my home, which basically I'm gonna be away from my home around 12 hours. And there's also the reason it's so far away from my home that when I come home, I'm just happy to uh, have a shower and probably uh, some uh, mail and then back uh, back to the bed <laughs> so guys apologize this is also the reason i cannot create more videos and um, yeah uh, i would love to uh, re research the french battleship uh, but there's won't be any time uh, very unfortunate it is what it is that's life guys the lives goes on. But no more for ado about my channel. How about this lovely um, ship? Guys, if you can imagine that uh, Iowa and Bismarck mm, have a baby, this is the result. It's absolutely broken. Why I'm saying that? It's because Believe me or not, this French lovely tier 9 battleship are actually a secondary monster and a speed monster at the same time. You will reach more than 36 knots when you have the uh, speed boost available. And remember guys, that it's really bad news for all cruisers because let's say there's a sneaky cruiser, does not matter what, it's a Des Moines or whatever with a very good concealment or any other uh, cruiser. This battleship can chase hit down and basically nuke her kill her now this ship it's not a he monster this ship will not do huge amount of he spamming all over the place and let's talk about her strength and her weakness sure she does have weakness but overall i would like to give you one single question guys you battleship captain how important is that your uh, battleship can shift from left to right can dodge the torpedo maneuver and basically if you are a uh, wrong spot oh heck i'm wrong spot how about uh, taking my ship away to the right spot the right place is that important for you if the answer is yes guys you don't have to look further i would like to say wargaming thank you very much that you make this uh, very interesting gameplay because you are not a i was guns 23 point something kilometers away uh, so you can snipe you're not a sniper, you're not a 20 kilometers above uh, and try to snipe far, far away. You need to come close. And of course, there's also a reason why I'm saying that, because I'll give you my um, recommend build, Captain, and also explain you uh, how you should play this battleship. This battleship, guys, uh, it's definitely... Um, Bismarck in secondary and more speed than Iowa and uh, it's a mix between I know it's kind of a hard for me to uh, Explain but fan factor and this is the most important question is this ship any fun to play? Do does this ship fulfill the role of a battleship? You know, tankiness, turtle back armor, secondary, good AA protection, torpedo uh, protection, uh, good reload, uh, and most of all, fast turning radius. If the answer is yes for that uh, question, guys, I would like to say that this ship will beat anything in this game by a mile. What do you mean, Zera? It's simple. This ship, it's the best tier 9 ship in this game. If you, my dear 
viewer or liking fast actions if you like a stay well armored and in angle i do highly recommend um, um musashi this ship it's the other way around this is completely the game i'm talking about the game uh, play style it's completely 180 turned uh what should i say the other way around on musashi's gameplay this is fast action you move you brawl you shift from left and right you don't ever want to stay um, and try to snipe you are you know in and you're out it's completely a different play style and for that i put her by far the best tier 9 battleship in this game it will even beat missouri it will even beat uh, uh iowa by a mile because iowa does not have this um, shall i say different play style she cannot be seated there and let's talk about her armor very quick guys because what the hell not all right guys okay her weakness is that she has 32 millimeters all over the place 32 32 32 you know uh, sure she, you eat um, and you um, Shall I say HE spammer can definitely harm you a lot. But now let's talk about her citadel. You see what I'm talking about, guys? Is this a uh, turtle back armor? Of course it is. Where is your citadel? It's exactly on the water line. But <coughs> from closer range, what I'm trying to say, and this is one hell of a, a thick belt, 380. And then from from here it's uh, armor thicken 250 millimeters and this is also another uh, bulk head so you know there's a lot of layers with this layer um, what i try to say from close range you can be forget it that you, can, you will eat citadels you are not the damn mon uh, shall i say vulnerable like uh, damn iowa or missouri you can afford to brawl it's like with bismarck but the problem with bismarck guys she's underpowered she only have eight guns she has basically the same uh, g uh guns as tier six for crying out loud and you're a tier eight however this is different story because this is the first battleship with 12 guns i know the caliber are not that uh, impressive but what you do have one hell of a fast turret traverse speed i do believe if i'm not mistaken you will beat everything and uh, the reason i'm saying that because i was checked uh, the turret traverse speed of iwas and uh, hms lion and so on let's go to a module and this is what i'm talking about guys with um, expert markman you will have her 35.6 which is absolutely amazing and it's um stupid fast versus no good piece of crap uh japanese battleships i'm talking about turret traverse speed that's what i'm trying to say it's abysmal uh, you can definitely shift and you can definitely uh, move your turrets which is amazing now a little bit downside with her of course she has downside it's kind of a big turning radius uh, let's talk about turning radius guys it has 910 but i was have even more but what it's nice about this is the biggest difference between iowa and alsa's class is the rudder shift 16.6 absolutely amazing and you feel that you really uh, have easy to dodge left and right torpedoes and so on let's talk about uh, uh, torpedo uh, protection damage 45 not uh, protection uh, which together with um, i do believe it's the Musashi's makes her one of the best um, tier 9 battleship but you know what is her flavor her flavor is two things secondary i know this is, sounds weird guys really weird let's talk about her secondary all right uh secondary you have 12 by 2 so you have 24 100 millimeters and reload every 2.8 seconds and the maximum firing range 10.6 kilometers and he shell speed are 850 meters a second what basically what it means guys i'll explain you very very fast 
uh, it's that you have uh, four, not two, not three, four harikaze in each side. And imagine one harikaze here, one harikaze here, I'm talking about the 100 millimeters, and reload every 2.8 seconds. Um, yeah. Absolutely amazing, but that it's not that. You see those those guns over there? You have nine, uh, I don't believe it, 152 millimeters guns. Yes, 103 by three. You have nine 152 millimeters guns um, with also 10.6 kilometers and use as a secondary reload. It's kind of abysmal 11.4 uh, seconds and also H uh, shell speed or 870. So if you like shall I say, uh, fast daka daka in your face guns and enemy and secondary, I highly recommend. And now guys, let's talk about the, the captain. I know this is kind of a weird, but this is my recommendation. You may have a different option. The first one, priority target. The second one, what make not make them even faster with expert markment you know you don't necessarily need but what the heck sh should you choose uh, for a second i still believe that if you like your fast turret traverse speed why not make them one of the fastest at tier 9 the third one of course you you may argue that a super nintendo it's good additional heal additional um uh, fight uh, fighter and speed boost you both of them you kind of a need and for the third one why heck not uh, go for advanced fire and training and manual fire control this gives you minus 60 percent maximum dispersion of shells for secondary armament from tier 7 to tier 10 so it makes your secondary much more accurate and then i would definitely go for the uh, direction center of catapult air then you receive two planes and i don't know what, what i would say i would say probably yeah i i do not know exactly what to pick uh, uh later on maybe adrenaline rush yes oh yes that definitely definitely i will go for it also this uh it's not a bad pick it's only uh, cost one point but guys I'm not joking what I'm saying right now. I have to say to Wargaming, Wargaming, if you see this video, I would like to uh, say a huge thank you because you are making this line very unique and it's the other way around. So guys, once again, the reason I want to like to say that you're not a HE spammer, it's because your... Um, uh, HE and AP damage are huge amount of percentage. Uh, I'm talking about you do maximum 5,400 uh, damage with HE, but you do whopping 11,900 damage with AP. So you, you, I do not recommend anyone using the HE. Uh, you may argue that 11,900 it seems low versus Iowa and versus everything else at your nine HMS Lion and so on. And you're right, guys. This is not a huge uh, uh, salvo for uh, for, uh, for one Citadel um, penetration. However, remember, guys. If you, let's say, um, have a full HP cruiser or a other battleship and every single gun that you have, 12 guns, will penetrate that um, uh, enemy ship, you will still do more damage if you have, uh, let's say, Lion or uh, I was only 9 guns. So even that your um, uh, small caliber gun cannot deal with uh, as much uh, AP damage as I was and lions and so on you still gonna do more damage because you have more guns so you're with me and it's kind of a devastating because no ship at tier 9 has uh, 12 guns and it's it's brutal especially for uh, cruisers I, I believe the we're going to have to do something about cruiser because the cruiser are tough and, uh, and hard to play it is right now. When the French battleship will arrive, then it's...
for me, I'll, I'll like to say from the bottom of my heart, uh, uh, a strained answer. It's impossible to play your role or cruiser because there's no... I know you can use your concealment and just kite away, but if that uh, battleship have more speed than you, she will eventually uh, come within your detection range and nuke you and kill you. And I don't know. I do believe that Wargame have to do something about all cruiser line because they are kind of screwed. And here's the deal. What the heck you do? Sure, you uh, you might want to put this uh, ship on fire, but it has secondary and it has a lot of firepower. So it's hard, close to impossible to deal with this beast of a, a battleship. I rank this uh, ship by far. And this is Zera Channel talking the best tier 9 battleship in this game. Uh, if you do not like to snipe in one place and try to hit your enemy at 23 point something kilometers away like in Iowa or Musashis and so on. This is different playstyle and it's a lot of fun. Trust me, it, it is a lot of fun to play. And I don't know what to uh, say about, I don't know if I forgot anything. I talk about secondary, I talk about her turret reverse speed, the turning radius, speed, armor, what not to like. So guys, in the next um, video I will put a gameplay, me taking this lovely battleship for a spin. Spin. So please guys stay tuned.